All right, so we're gonna be removing this charcoal canister right here. Um, there's a plug that plugs into a vacuum sensor on the bottom. It's pretty hard to get to, so I actually just unplug it from the harness. And then there's a wire that goes from the fuel injection to that servo down here. I cut that also. And that's it. There's two hoses that run from this bike. There's one that goes to the charcoal canister and there's one that goes to the servo. I cut them both. That way it's free. This one, same thing. We unclip this to free up the harness. All right. Then we're gonna unplug your headlight. Again, it's a gray plug. And then right here, you unplug this servo. It's a blue plug. You want all that to be free. There's another vacuum sensor. It's impossible to take it off without taking time. So what you do is you cut it, freeze it up, and you get your 10 millimeter right here. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the servos for the intake flap. Two 10 millimeters, one here and one right here. All right, twist, pull, this one's free. This operates the intake flap in here. I'll, in, I'll free it up so you can see how it works. See, it opens and closes that. So what, I, what you do is you twist it counterclockwise and then it frees up. Stick your finger in here and get it out of the little loop. It's got a little hoop system. To get to the flap, step valve there's a little nipple right here get the step valve step bit sorry you just need to... all right do that on both sides Kevin, All right, once you get that, it's free and ready to come out. Just pull it out. And that's it. What we're gonna do, we're gonna remove this hose. And then there's these four that ran to the charcoal sensor. We're gonna remove them from the throttle bodies. All right, and then what we wanna do because now that that's all free, we're gonna pretty much throw it all in the trash. And we're gonna run over to O'Reilly's or AutoZone, don't matter. And we're gonna cap these four, and then we're gonna cap the fifth vacuum plug. So that way it just gives it a cleaner look about all those hoses. Now out. we're gonna go ahead and remove our pair valve. You right here, push down, pull out this thing, just grab it, bend it out, and that's it.